In this video, it's going to be about putting your footer at the bottom of, the, of uh, your web page. So here we have in the browser, we've got uh, it with, without little content at all. So you've just got the ears and you've got this here, which the, the blue line, which is the, uh, the footer. So what we want to do is when you go to mobile, for example, you still get this horrible white bit at the bottom, which we don't want. And so what we're going to do is we want that to just go down um, at the bottom of our web page, especially when we have little content. When there's a lot of content, it, it does it automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this up. So here we have uh, my example, which is footer.html. And this is basically what, what this is. This here at the top about products and contact is going to be about... Um, is going to is going to be the actual footer itself so we'll come out of there and i'll just uh go in here so basically all we have here is um i'll just go in there is your div id equals footer and your div at the bottom in there we have uh, an ordered list with the um, li which is lists which is about pro uh, products and contact in our uh, head, header, we um, have style uh, tags, the opening and the close one. In between there, we just have the li and display dot inline, which just puts the uh, the um, the menu in line in this particular uh, example. So what we basically want, though, is the footer and how we're going to play around with that. So we have an ID tag which is equals footer. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this up a little bit. So we're going to, uh, with a hashtag and put footer and in between our brackets uh, and curly bracket things, we're going to put background color and we're going to put it a bright one. We're going to put it as orange. And we just have a look at this. Okay, so that's basically what we want. And uh, we just put that uh, for height, say 60 pixels, as a good height for a footer. So we just pop that in there. There we go. So how to get that at the bottom? Well, what we have to do is we go to have to put a bottom and semicolon nothing and um and then that's uh that should really that's this is building it up bottom nothing so we put this at uh we'll just save this have a look at it and still nothing so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh like sort of put this uh down at the down at the bottom and we do that by putting position absolute and we just save that again and there we have it at the bottom so that position absolute is very very important now we're going to put in width and we're going to put that as 100% that's what we want um, and I'll show you what that does so we just do that there, a hundred percent. So now we don't have any contact um, content on on the page. We just have your your um, your footer there at the bottom, and we just put that in as mobile. So we go in as mobile. It's still at the bottom. So there we've really conquered um, that, and that's really all we need. We do have a little problem here with the scroll bar though. So it actually, if you go in right at the edge there. As it says, it shows uh, a slight space there. So how do we get around that? Well, what we do is we go into, um, we put a body style. And this doesn't have a hashtag because it's not part of an HTML element. So the curly brackets body. And we're going to put uh, margin zero, semicolon, and padding. And they were going to put that as zero also. So there we have it. So it's body, margin, zero, padding, 
zero two. So we just save that. And there we go. So there, there it is. There's no space anywhere at all. If we look on either side, nothing at all. So there we have it. And that's all that's uh, required to do it. So there you have. It doesn't matter which, um, if it's mobile, any device, that will work. Another little trick while I'm on is to, if you want, you see many pages where there's a sticky footer now. where So you have your, um, your website and the actual menu is at the bottom. Um, I've done another video on this where it's at the top. But this, if you want it, it's not actually a bad way to do it. So if you want your menu at the bottom and all your scrolling goes, but you still see your menu at the footer. So all you have to do there is you put in position fixed. And that's all we do with that. And that will sort that out and that should work perfectly. So if you have any questions or anything at all, just get in touch with us and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.